Let's now talk about microorganisms and their role in food production. Microorganisms are living organisms that can only be seen with the help of a microscope. They can cause serious disease in humans, or they can be harnessed and used for our benefit. Microorganisms can be used in food production, and we call this process biotechnology. There are two examples you need to know about in real detail. One is how yeast is used to make bread, and the other one is how bacteria are used to produce yogurt. Now, many of the products produced using microorganisms rely on a microorganism carrying out a process called fermentation, which we've already discussed in the respiration video, which you can watch again if you need to recap on that. Fermentation is how a microorganism obtains its energy with no oxygen. It does this by converting certain substances, usually sugars, and making waste products, which we like. We want the waste products. That's the thing that we want from the microorganisms. We want the waste products that they produce when they do fermentation. So for example, when we look at bread, which is made using the microorganism yeast, the yeast do anaerobic respiration and they release ethyl and carbon dioxide. It is the carbon dioxide that we want because what it does is it forms little bubbles uh, which causes the dough to rise. And then when you cook the bread, the ethanol is evaporated and the yeast die and you're left with this nice spongy texture that you get from bread. In detail, this is the way the process would work. First of all, you've got to make a dough, which you do by combining yeast with flour, water, and probably some sugar. The dough is then kneaded to mix all the ingredients together and left, then left somewhere warm. The enzymes in the yeast break down the flour to release the sugars. You need the sugars for anaerobic respiration. They do aerobic respiration first, but the oxygen soon runs out and they very quickly switch to anaerobic respiration, fermentation, and they start producing all this CO2 and this ethanol. And if you leave the bread for a few hours, it's what we call proving, then the, the dough will start to rise and rise and rise as the CO2 gets released and gets trapped inside the dough. And it can get to sort of four or five times its volume from where it started. Then you bake that dough in a hot oven, the yeast are killed, the ethanol is evaporated, and you're left with your bread.